This is your life cycle with special guest Delilah the Dragonfly, written by Heather Lynn Miller. Good evening, larvae, nymphs, and insects. This is Bob Beetle, welcoming you to another episode of This Is Your Life Cycle, the show that follows the life cycle of everybody's favorite class of animals, the insects. Each week, we take our cameras to the hot spot of the bug world to follow insects as they begin their lives as eggs, hatch as nymphs or larvae, and molt into fully developed adults. Tonight we are coming to you live from a swamp hidden by darkness under the branch of a weeping willow. It may look peaceful from here, but beneath the surface of the water, our special guest Delilah has spent the past two years fighting for her life. That's right, folks. Delilah has slipped through the jaws of hungry predators like frogs fish, turtles, and ducks. Breathe easy, my friends. Delilah is one tough nymph and has managed to escape death by living under the cover of rotting leaves, dead logs, and thick swamp grasses. Word from the pond says she's become quite a fierce little predator herself. Why, just last week, the Daily Buzz reported seeing Delilah chomp away at an unsuspecting tadpole. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told that Fly Guy is standing by with exciting news. Guy, what do you see? Bob, I'm doing a flyby of the water surface now. I get the strong sense that something amazing is about to happen. Hold on, hold on. The water is beginning to ripple. I think Delilah may be ready to emerge. I'm going to try to land on a nearby twig for a closer look. Can you see anything, guy? Bob, I see something. She's pulling herself out of the water with her strong front legs. We should see her head any moment now. Remember, audience, we need complete silence. We don't want to frighten Delilah. Shh. Males and females, please welcome Delilah the Dragonfly. Who are you? Where am I? Did I reach the surface? Yes, you did, Delilah. And today is your lucky day. You are the first dragonfly to emerge on every insect's favorite show. This is your life cycle. You're just in time to hear a message from our first mystery guest, Delilah. Do you remember this voice? Oh, I'm so glad you made it to the surface without being eaten by some nasty bass. I remember the day I deposited you and your brothers and sisters. You were such sweet, tiny eggs. Mom, is that you? That's right, Delilah, it is your mother. Audience, take a look at this photo of Delilah. Have you ever seen such a cute egg? Oh, I found the perfect patch of swamp grass with tall, tender shoots. It was such a beautiful spot. I whipped out my ovipositor and went to work poking tiny holes in the blades of grass. I knew that laying my eggs inside would help keep you safe from hungry fish. By the end of the day, I laid over 800 eggs. I was so exhausted. When I finished, I just sat down and died. We all know how that goes, right, audience? It's the story of an insect's life. We hatch, we grow, we mate, and we die. Delilah, you stay tucked inside that blade of swamp grass for several weeks. Then one day, your egg casting split, and you, <laughs> a white wiggly nymph, slipped into the open water of the pond. And that's where our next mystery guest found you. When I saw you, Delilah, you look so tasty. I was young, taking my first dive out of the nest, and I was 
starving, you would have made a perfect snack. Oh, I know this one. I know this one, Bob. I never forget Box Turtle, the most frightening beast I've ever met. He slid down from a lily pad and he tried to eat me alive. <sighs> oh, poor Delilah. What did you do? The only thing I knew how to do. I wiggled. You wiggled all right. You wiggled your rear end into the muck at the bottom of the pond. Before I had a chance to gobble you up, you disappeared under a pile of dead leaves. On the day you became a nymph, Delilah, you also became a hungry predator. And you found a new way to travel. Your water jet system helped you zip through the water at rocket speed. Can you tell us how it worked? Oh, I love to, Bob. My water jet was just the best thing about being a nymph. You see, while I lived underwater, I needed gills to breathe. My gills are a little different from the ones you see on fish. Mine are stuck inside my rear end. Lucky thing, too. When I learned to pump water with them, I shot through the water like a torpedo. I was one of the fastest creatures in the pond. No one can catch me. Hmm? No one? Are you sure about that? Remember the day I beat you to the patch of mosquito larvae? <laughs> I ate half of the swarm before you caught up with me. <gasps> Flash, is that you? Yes, Delilah, that's right. It's your favorite brother, Flash. Flash, I'm so excited. I popped in my exoskeleton. <laughs> it appears that Delilah is splitting before our eyes. Flash, do you mind staying with us a while she, while she crawls out of that cumbersome exoskeleton. Oh, not at all, Bob. I can't wait to see the size of her wings. Delilah, are you okay? You look a bit pale and soft. Oh, I'll be fine, Bob. I just need some fresh air. Certainly, Delilah. Take your time. I remember the day I molted into adulthood. My skin felt so tight. It Then it began to split. I crawled out of my exoskeleton, feeling a bit soft and dizzy. But after a few hours in the sun, I felt just fine. Folks, while we wait for the blood to pump through Delilah's wings, let's take a moment to hear from our Bug Network sponsor, Bird Be Gone. Are you tired of being pecked and poked by killer birds? Wish you could finish, finish a meal without losing a body part? If so, try new Bird Be Gone, produced by King Crickets. This super stinky spray could save your life. Just a few squirts of Bird Be Gone across your abdomen and birds literally hit the sky. Imagine stepping out of the cover of the darkness and chomping on your next leaf under the summer sun. Get Bird Be Gone and get on with your life. Welcome back to This Is Your Life Cycle. Delilah, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel like a new insect. Queens and grubs, take a look at those wings. Oh, Delilah, it's true that your wings allow you to fly over 50 miles per hour? Yes, fly guy, it's true. I'm one of the fastest insects on earth, and because I have four wings, I can fly forward and backwards and sideways, and I could hover and flip through the air. That's quite impressive, Delilah, but why do you need such flying, fancy flying skills? Wow, Bob, I'm a hunter. I can catch and eat just about any type of insect I please. I hate to say it, folks, but we're running out of time. It appears that Delilah is about to flutter away to watch your brothers and sisters emerge. And when that happens, 
we're all in danger of becoming their first meal. I'm sorry to chase you off like this, but you know how dragonflies are. Dash, dive, and destroy. Once we emerge, the only thing we want to do is eat, eat, eat. I must say, some of your audience members are looking absolutely delicious. You heard her, everyone. It's time for us to buzz off. As the sun rises, a young dragonfly takes flight. Soon, new dragonfly nymphs will wiggle through dangerous waters where they will grow and molt into fast flying adults. Thank you for all. Thank you all for joining us for this fabulous event. Until next time, this is Bob Beetle saying, when the last egg is laid and it's your turn to sit down and die, just remember, this is your life cycle.